Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice square root algebra problem. Square root of 26 to the power 4 plus 39 to the power 4 plus 65 to the power 4 divided by 2. So, let's start. First of all, we suppose that this 26 is equal to A and this 39 is equal to B. Let a is equal to 26 and B is equal to 39. Then A plus B will be equal to 26 plus 39 is equal to 65. So, we replace this 26 with A and we replace this 39 with the B and we replace this 65 with A plus B. Then this expression will become square root of A to the power 4 plus B to the power 4 plus A plus B to the power 4 divided by 2. Now, this a plus b whole to the power 4 is equal to a plus b whole to the power 4 is equal to a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 4 times a cubed b plus 4 times a b cubed plus 6 a squared b squared. So, we replace this a plus b whole to the power 4 with this expression, then this expression will become square root of, we write this a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 first, a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus this a plus b whole to the power 4 is equal to a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 4 times a cubed b plus 4 times a b cubed plus 6 a squared b squared divided by 2. Next, square root of this a to the power 4 plus this a to the power 4 will become 2 times a to the power 4 plus this b to the power 4 plus this b to the power 4 will become 2 times b to the power 4 plus this expression 4 times a cubed b plus 4 times a b cubed plus 6 a squared b squared divided by 2. Next, square root of, now from this expression in the numerator, we can factor out 2. 2 as a common factor in, in bracket left, a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 2 times a cubed b plus 2 times a b cubed plus 3 times a squared b squared divided by 2. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and here we are left with the square root of a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 2 times a cubed b plus 2 times a b cubed plus 3 a squared b squared. Next, square root of a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4. Now, we split this plus 3 times a squared b squared as we split this 3 times a squared b squared as 
plus 2 times a squared b squared plus 1 times a squared b squared and then we write this remaining terms plus 2 a cubed b plus 2 a b cubed. Next square root of now, this a to the power 4 can be written as a squared whole squared plus this b to the power 4 can be written as b squared whole squared plus 2 times a squared times b squared plus this a squared b squared plus this expression 2 a cubed b plus 2a b cubed. Next square root of now by using this algebraic identity x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is equal to x plus y whole squared. This expression a squared whole squared plus b squared whole squared plus 2 times a squared times b squared can be written as a squared plus b squared whole squared plus this a squared b squared can be written as a times b whole squared plus from these two terms 2a cubed b plus 2ab cubed we can factor out 2ab 2 times ab as a common factor and in bracket left a squared plus b squared next square root of a squared plus b squared whole squared plus a times b squared plus this 2ab times a squared plus b squared can be written as 2 times a squared plus b squared times a times b. Next square root of now by using this algebraic identity x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is equal to x plus y whole squared. In this expression, this a squared plus b squared is as x and this ab is as y and this a squared plus b squared is as x and this ab is as y. And as this x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is equal to x plus y whole squared, this whole expression is equal to a squared plus b squared plus ab whole squared. Now this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with a squared plus b squared plus a times b. Now recall that we have supposed We have supposed that A is equal to 26 and B is equal to 39. We have supposed that A is equal to 26 and B is equal to 39. So, in place of this A squared, we write 26 squared plus in place of this B squared, we write 39 squared plus in place of a we write 26 times in place of this b we write 39. Next this 26 squared can be written as 26 times 26 plus this 39 squared can be written as 39 times 39 plus this 26 times 39. 
नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स टाइम ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस फ्रॉम दीज टू टर्म्स वी कैन फैक्टर आउट थर्टी नाइन सो थर्टी नाइन एज अ कॉमन फैक्टर एंड इन ब्रैकेट लेफ्ट थर्टी नाइन प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स टाइम्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस थर्टी नाइन टाइम्स थर्टी नाइन प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिक्सटी फाइव Next, twenty-six times this twenty-six can be written as thirty minus four plus this sixty-five. Sixty-five times this thirty-nine can be written as forty minus one. Next, thirty-six times thirty seven hundred eighty minus twenty-six times four one hundred four. Plus sixty-five times forty is twenty-six hundred. Minus sixty-five times one sixty-five. Now we add these two numbers: twenty-six hundred and seven hundred eighty. Twenty-six hundred and seven hundred eighty. And we add these two numbers: zero plus zero 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 plus eight eight. Seven plus six thirteen, one carry, and two plus one three. And from this number, we subtract this one zero four, one zero four. Ten minus four six seven minus zero seven and three minus one two, and this three will come here. Now we subtract this negative sixty five minus sixty five. Six minus five one seven minus six one. This two will come here. This three will come here. So this is equal to three thousand two hundred eleven. And this is the final answer of this problem.